YouTube, YouTube, it's your boy Bernadita Trucker coming at you with another one. Well, folks, um, life is good. I don't have no complaints. I'm not complaining about no TA. I'm actually, I'm actually sharing with you um, my first 34-hour uh, reset that I needed to do due to the fact that I was running low on time. And basically for all my new people that are following me that don't really understand the whole trucking uh, protocols, what have you, um, you have eight days uh, according to the FMCA and you have a 70 hour clock. You have, 70, you have four clocks, that'll be for another video, but basically I have 70 hours to work with uh, in eight days and then um, I start to regain the hours that I started. So let's say on day one, I ran nine hours. Day two, I ran four hours. Well, going back to day one, um, seven days after day one, I'll get those nine hours back and so on and so forth. There's plenty of videos out there about the hours of service. Check them out. They're very informative. But basically, I'm at the point where um, my scenario was I got into Morbelly, Missouri. Uh, if I hope I pronounced that right, but Morbelly, Missouri, and um, I had 30 minutes left on my clock. It was seven o'clock at night to make a delivery uh, at a Walmart DC, and uh, so I made the delivery, and then I parked. Um, at uh, a Walmart Supercenter, which was right in front of the Walmart DC. So that was really cool. Uh, me and my co-driver, we jumped in, uh, well, he jumped in his bag and uh, I got into, I pushed the grocery cart, we did some grocery shopping, and came back to the truck. Woke up the next morning when I got my hours back. Now, I said that I was running low on hours. Well, on my clock, I only had eight hours to drive. Um, which is low, but then again, you don't want to drive more than nine hours total anyway when you have a fresh clock uh, because you don't want to run into the situation that I ran into where I had two days back to back that were going to hit me where I was only getting four hours uh, back on my clock. And when I ran my clock so low that those four hours really are going to hurt me, it just made better sense for me to just go ahead and do what they call a 34 hour reset. Uh, <clears throat> basically, I don't take any loads. You know, I'm missing out on opportunity to, you know, continue to earn because my wheels were definitely not turning. So I most definitely wasn't earning. But uh, it just so happens that I lucked out and I ran out of time in a decent area. And uh, I say that it was decent for me uh, because the load that I did get. Uh, proposed to me that I'm going to be rolling on tomorrow is uh, is paying a pretty you know it's paying a pretty good wage you know uh, Saturday night um, so doing a reset roll out Sunday morning and you're like well wait a minute burner I mean uh, your pay weekends on a Wednesday hey you know I dropped this load in Indiana uh, on Monday morning at 0900 and then um, I have all day Monday Tuesday to uh, get another quickie, quick load in and uh, add up that revenue. So definitely taking advantage of the 70 hour, I'm sorry, the 34 hour reset. So long story short, uh, <clears throat> I'm not at the Walmart Supercenter parking lot because I dropped the load and I wanted to check out this travel center. You know, I, I looked it up, um, it's a little small travel center with about 10, 15 parking spots. And this morning after I dropped my trailer off and I bobtailed out, I found this one uh, one uh, trucking spot. So I parked my bobtail in it and just chillaxed. Uh, basically, I cleaned the office. I called the front part of my truck the office because that's where all the work happens. And, you know, I need to clean my, my living quarters next. But I did a deep clean on the, on the, the office side of the the truck and then um, oh, somebody got told um, anyway so I just basically you know just this general cleaning relaxed um, 
to the left of me is uh, this place right here. Uh, China Garden Buffet right here. Man. My man BJ, Highway Slam to the West Side Brim. Shouts out to him. He's a Chinese food whore, man. Everywhere he goes, boy. <laughs> He, he he was on the phone. He was on the phone with me today. He's like, "Oh, burner man, damn, there's a Panda Express," and I was like, "Panda, Panda, 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 Panda." <laughs> boy, my man, my man, Howie Slim, boy, he loves him some Chinese food. I tell you, and I was like, you know, I mean, I like Chinese food. Don't get me wrong. You know, um, <clears throat> back home there's a little China buffet that we go to sometimes, and you know, the food's good. And um, so I was like, you know what? I worked hard this week, uh, dug myself out of a hole, being negative when I went home for a week, uh, and I came out smelling like roses on Friday, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to treat myself, you know, I've been trying to do good, keep my refrigerator stocked of food, and uh, so I had this, um, <clears throat> I went to the buffet line, and believe it or not, the food was really, really good, it was fresh. I mean, it was awesome. I mean, I took some pictures, which I'll show at the end of this, uh, this video. Um, the food was awesome. I I recommend this place right here. So if you're ever in uh, Morbley, uh, Mar Marbley, Missouri, whatever, um, you should take a look, man. Check them out. It's Saturday, so on Fridays and Saturdays, the dinner buffet is like $15.95. And then I ordered a sweet tea, which was, it was drinkable. I mean, it wasn't like, you know, how mama and them be making it with the extra, extra, extra sugar, but it was sweet. Um, so, um, yeah, it was really good. So my total bill was like $19.95, 20 bucks. Okay. Decent meal. I ate a couple hours ago. I'm still full and, uh, I'm satisfied. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to, uh, about to leave y'all with this. I just wanted to shoot you a, a, a short little video. And um, for all those uh, new lease operators that are, you know, um, that have come to Prime and, you know, you're enjoying it and you're thinking about what the next step is, you know, hey, uh, stay focused and, uh, you know, aim high, dream big, follow your dreams, you know. We all have an end goal. So, uh, with that being said, I am going to shut it down, shut this video down, and I will talk to you on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please leave a comment and ring the bell for uh, all the notifications of our my next video. Um, and you know what? <clears throat> I would like to hear from my subscribers. Um, I know Two Face OG. He uh, he made some suggestions um, offline about some videos, you know, made some suggestions and, you know, um, I'm open for criticism and uh, cre creative cr criticism. Uh, take it easy on me and uh, we'll go from there. So tell me what you would like, what, what videos, what topics you would like for me to discuss and uh, I'll make it happen, Captain. Um, yeah, I got a driver code uh, if my video somehow have influenced you to uh, you think about coming to Prime? Yeah, I got a I got a driver code, but you know I'm just not ready to push it out there. I want you guys to enjoy enjoy my content, you know. And um, if you're interested, if I've moved you to uh, sign it up with Prime, then yeah, just hit me up and uh, I'll get that information to you. All right, more to come. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Oh, shit.